What's good, Data Fam? We're out here, not in my usual location. We're on the road, back in that dirty jersey, back home. And today, I still wanted to make a video for y'all. It's pretty important. I'm gonna be telling y'all how I tripled my salary in just three short years. So, in 2018, I was a young lad, and I was fresh out of college, fresh on the job market very hopeful you know very eager looking for very promising things and i really applied for jobs the entire year and still only got one offer and that was a data analyst position at merkel they're a digital marketing company right outside of baltimore in columbia maryland so i accepted that position there was no other competition nobody else wanted you boy so I accepted that and starting salary was about 55k and by about 55k I mean it was 55k that was, that was the starting salary now as a humble man myself going from a broke 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 college student I mean that's a great that's a great amount of money for me I mean I felt like I was living lavishly and I was also living in Baltimore so my rent was like $500 $400 at one point so why the switch up now this really wasn't exactly the job I wanted, but I knew it was a step in the right direction. I wasn't able to get that data science job I wanted, but I knew being a data analyst would get me to my end goal. I knew it was gonna be a process. So it came to a point where I started realizing that it's okay, Greg, you've been doing this for enough. You need to actually start taking the next step. So I really, really started buckling down and studying on my own every single day. I was doing online courses, getting my SQL better, getting my Python better. I was getting my machine learning knowledge better. That was really where a lot of my time was going, was just learning different machine learning algorithms and how to implement them and the ways that they're used, how to get the value out of them. And I pretty much did that for about six months where not all of my free time went to it, but a lot of it did. I still had a social life, still saw my friends, still worked out and stuff, but a lot of my free time was going towards just getting better at the data science field so my first tip for y'all for tripling your salary is definitely working on your skills yo get your skills up because that's why people pay you it's not for the amount of time it in it's for the skill set you have so make sure you're working on skills you have that generate money you know in my situation it's definitely programming learning Python learning R learning SQL and then other business intelligence software like Tableau and learning how to communicate and get insights out of data effectively. You're gonna have to grind a lot for this one, but you just gotta put the hours in and get your skills up. So after that, I was feeling really confident in my ability to get a data science job. I've been studying for months and months and months. I started really applying for these data science jobs and only data science jobs, no more data analyst jobs, no more of that. And I said, I want a full data science job. And you no, know, turned my little LinkedIn on so that I could get messages from recruiters say, hey, yo, I'm looking for a job. And a recruiter actually hits me saying they have a position open at Hilton for Hotels for a data scientist slash analyst. And I was like, data scientist slash analyst. Okay, let's see what they're talking about. So I started looking at Hilton Hotels is a great company to work for, very good ratings, like top 100, top something workforce, getting a lot of awards. And it is located in Washington, D.C. Now, I'm making 57K at Merkel. They hit me with an offer for about 85K. So right there, that's a 30K raise right there. There's another tip for you. Tip number two for tripling your salary, be willing to relocate. So I was working in the Baltimore area and just in comparison to the Washington DC area, I mean, the, the salaries in Washington DC are just way higher. It's a much higher cost of living, but the salaries are way higher and Okay, don't listen to anybody who tells you, oh, well, the rent goes up, so you really make the same. Like, no, you're not. You're making more in DC. You just gotta be smart about it, okay? You just gotta, you just gotta figure out how to actually keep the money that you're making, okay? Just be, be smart about it, but you can keep that money that they're paying you. Anyway, life is looking good. I'm enjoying my job at Hilton. Things are rolling. Three months go by. Everything is going great until boom coronavirus hits. And what is Hilton in? The travel industry. So guess who gets laid off? Me, my entire team. They laid off or furloughed 85% of their employees and this was really a gut shot. So I moved there for this job that I absolutely loved. I thought I was gonna work there for 20 plus years, whatever. And I got laid off in three months for this virus. 
this coronavirus, man. So now I'm back in the job market, right? In the middle of a pandemic after just being laid off. I said I need to find another job. And by the grace of God, and I think just because I'm now in a really good field, it only took me about two months to find a job in the middle of this pandemic. And I really was only applying for jobs that I wanted. My first time looking for a job, I was just throwing my application everywhere. Now I was being a little more picky and I still found a job. This time it was with Noblis, which is a government contractor and I would be contracted to the IRS. So I wasn't super thrilled about working for the government, but they're the only people really hiring in a pandemic and they have a lot of job security. The IRS ain't going anywhere because they're always gonna be taking your money. And also this was a full data science job. It wasn't no data scientist slash analyst. It was full data science position. So I was able to get that job and I had been making 85K. So they asked me what my salary expectations were. So I pretty much just told them I wasn't even ready for the cash. I told them, hey, I was making 85 my last job. They said, okay, came back. They said, we'll offer you 90. So this brings me to tip number three, which you've already seen at once in my story, but switch jobs. You know, you gotta say it, it's, it's really the best way to get a raise because, you know, moving up internally, a lot of times it can be very hard and you're very stuck at your position, you know? I think a lot of people are too loyal to their company sometimes because you know if you messed up they said or did something they would get rid of you in one second you know so definitely be loyal to your company but just always know what is out on the job market and know that if you do switch jobs you're gonna get a substantial raise like i said i didn't even do anything going from hilton to noblis and i got a, a little raise just you know, I got laid off. I didn't even do anything. I got a little raise from that. So switching jobs is, is really the best way to get a raise at this point. Especially if you're already working a job, the job that wants you is just gonna try to bump up the salary that you're making a little bit to make it more enticing for you to leave. So working at Noblis, I got a few bonuses. So it's really more like low end six figures that I'm making now. And I ended up moving to a different part of Arlington, uh, Crystal City, moved in with two of my boys. Um, had a great time, had a great time, but at that point my rent went up to about 1100 1200 which is still really, really good for this area. 1100 1200 I was able to save a lot of money. So now we're getting almost caught up to the present, but I worked for Noblis for about two years, and let me tell you, I really loved it. You know, first year was great, second year, first half was great too, but then something happened internally there was a reorg my team pretty much lost a person that was in charge of innovating everything giving us work to do pretty much giving us stuff you know data scientists we're builders we don't have as many day-to-day -day or repetitive tasks as other people we build we innovate and if nobody's giving us stuff to build and innovate we're kind of sitting around so for months and months and months now i just sat around and really did nothing which is cool, you know, what are you complaining about? You know, you're just collecting a check, doing minimal work is great. And it was great for a little bit, but eventually you start getting bored and you start wanting more. And I started looking for more jobs, just slightly, just sending out an application here, sending out an application there if I like the job. I started applying to what I call dream jobs. So I applied for like Nike, Google, Microsoft, Spotify, places like that. Within two weeks, I had a final round interview for two big companies. I scheduled the interviews. I had two interviews on one day. First one I had, I did a, a technical interview. This was actually like my second round. I guess I didn't do well enough because they didn't call me back. That one was for SeatGeek. And then I had some more final round interviews for the company I currently work for. I thought I stumbled through the technical interview again too. I will be making a video about technical interviews also, but I kind of didn't do that great on the technical part. In fact, I did pretty bad, but somehow they liked me because of, they said my communication skills and I was still offered a position, senior data scientist this time, base salary and total compensation. The title of the video is how to triple your salary. So for my Merkel salary, just do the math. A gang, I'm back in the apartment now. I just wanted to summarize for you real quick what you can do to get your money up. First thing, get your skills up. Learn technical skills. 
look at your job position, your job field, and look at any necessary certifications or anything that'll help you get that boost in salary. And second, always be willing to change jobs. First thing you can do is relocate to an area that just pays people more. And then of course you can switch jobs to higher paying positions. Most importantly, always know what's on the job market. You can find another position that's in your area, same position, same thing you're doing, just with a company that's willing to pay you a little more. So remember those tips, good luck on your search, get your money up, and I'll see y'all next time.